I think we're on. Now, this is not a live stream, unfortunately. Uh, I had to do a premiere, but today, in honor of Oppenheimer and Barb, well, Barbenheimer's success, but also for the, but pretty much for this video, uh, mostly just Oppenheimer, uh, we're going to I'm just going to be reacting to your Christopher Nolan hot takes. There are, um, yeah, so you ha you guys have, like, uh, a couple of them submitted, so I'm just going to react to them, uh, so I, I don't, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, so let's just get right into it. Um, the first one, uh, Memento is the best Nolan film, not only his smartest, but it also really leans into the R rating, and I love it when Nolan does that. Uh, yeah, so, um... I, yeah, so I saw in your letterbox that, um, you gave Memento a 9.8, and then you gave Interstellar a 10, and then I, uh, then you updated your ranking and put Interstellar above it, so, um, I understand how, uh, Memento, you could, is your favorite, um, I haven't seen it yet, uh, but I'm not allowed to, so, I don't know, because, I mean, I, 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 I can't really, you know, talk about that because I haven't seen it, but uh, so far, um, what I've heard from it indicates that it's amazing, and I've heard a lot about the plot of it, and I know a lot about it, um, and I don't know, like, I know there's, like, something big that happens, uh, or, like, some big reveal or something, I don't, I don't completely know, but I understand how it's your favorite, uh, but now I understand how Inter Interstellar is your favorite, because I actually uh, rewatched Interstellar a couple days ago, uh, there's a comment about Interstellar here, um, that we'll get to later, but yeah, I, I rewatched Interstellar a couple days ago, absolute fire it went up so much on my favorites list it's like my seventh favorite movie of all time right now uh in fact i actually yeah i have like a list that i'm gonna try to show you like somewhere over there there it is um but that so yeah interstellar it's a masterpiece such a masterpiece definitely a 10 out of 10 like you said um five stars absolutely 100 out of 100 like the highest rating you could give a movie whatever your scale is interstellar the top of that um an, uh, okay so um movies are good says or andrew uh says i think man of steel which he wrote is a terrible movie two out of ten uh, uh okay so i really enjoy man of steel i think it's really good i don't i i but i also can understand if you adore the movie or you hate the movie both you know perspectives uh i pr i definitely understand where you're coming from uh, he, I, so, Man of Steel, for me, uh, and this is, like, probably just, like, my opinion, so, um, I feel like it's not, it's not good as a Superman movie, but I don't think of it as a superhero, or a Superman movie, I think of it as a, not even, like, a, a gen, a new generation of Superman, I kind of think of it as Zack Snyder's uh, version of Superman, and, you know, that's not my version, because I grew up with, uh, Superman and Superman 2, um, from Richard Donner, uh, but, or the second one isn't from Richard Donner, um, sad, the whole Richard Donner cut, whatever, so, um, I think, so, since I grew up with those movies, it was really, uh, kind of jarring going to Man of Steel and kind of, like, seeing the whole thing completely different, but the more I've watched it and the more I've grown to respect it, um, and I understand, uh, how some people hate it, um, but for me, it's just, like, kind of a, uh, a cool experience seeing what, like, someone else thinks of Superman, and in the actual movie, if you kind of, like, uh, remove, like, all of the, like, oh, this is my version of it, the movie as a whole, in my opinion, is really just fire, so, um, yeah, so, two out of ten, to me, that's kind of, you know, I know it's your opinion, um, so I completely respect it, but, uh, for, I just disagree, um, another I have is Batman Begins and The Dark Knight Rises are some of Nolan's weakest films, not saying they're bad or anything, uh, just for Nolan, it's not his best work, that's coming from someone whose favorite Nolan film is The Dark Knight, uh, that could change after I see Oppenheimer, um, and then I actually replied, saying, uh, what is it, Oppenheimer's a masterpiece, and, uh, yeah, it is, but, just the, the, I under, I, I guess, Batman Begins and The Dark Knight Rises, they're, I think they're a fire, but, 
I, I guess, like, Batman Begins, maybe it's a little lighthearted. I mean, if you're watching the premiere right now, uh, maybe you can comment what you uh, don't like about them if you want to. I'm not forcing you to. But, yeah, Batman Begins, I think it's amazing. I think The Dark Knight Rises is one of the most underrated movies of all time. Probably the most underrated. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I kind of think uh, maybe they're some of Nolan's weakest films. Um, actually... Hang on a minute. I actually did a ranking of them, and Batman Begins and the Dark Knight Rises were, like, at the bottom of the A tier, I think. I think. But that's not, like, a knock on them, because A tier is amazing. But um, then, not saying they're... Yeah, yeah. So, uh, that's coming from someone whose favorite Nolan film is The Dark Knight. Um, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. Like, they're kind of... They're different movies, definitely. Um, Dark Knight Rises, especially, has, like, a really different style. Obviously, it's still Christopher Nolan, but still, the style is... Uh, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of uh, going from this, like, uh, superhero, like, movie to this kind of epic about rising from the ashes but it is so it's kind of a different story different style uh and i obviously prefer the dark knight i think it's the third or second best movie of all time but uh, yeah I, I i totally understand that um are you gonna watch barbie i did but obviously this was before that um okay yeah so um robert Meir has a uh, Sorry, sorry. Is this still going? Yeah, I just, I saw something like, was a bug or something? Uh, has, um, has four of them. So, Dunkirk is just fine. Totally understand that. I may actually agree with that. Uh, I think it's a good movie, but definitely his worst movie. Actually, by the way, I maybe not his worst movie, because I saw, I saw Tenet, uh, yesterday. Um, I have some thoughts. I, I need to see it again, though. Um, Insomnia is awesome. Haven't seen it yet, but, uh, yeah. I can't really say anything about that. Interstellar's his best movie. Totally understand that. Totally, 100% understand that. Uh, Memento is great, but kind of overrated. Okay, I, I, I mean, I, I really can't speak for Insomnia and Memento. Um, but yeah, I kind of, I might actually agree with the Dunkirk one and Interstellar. I don't agree with it, but I think it's my second or third favorite of his and one of the best, absolute best movies of all time. So yeah. Uh, uh, Justin says Interstellar is overrated. It's a technical marvel, but pretty weak story-wise. Inception is much better. Um, I think Inception is better. In fact, I rewatched that the other day, too. Um, rewatched a lot of Nolan films. But, uh, Interstellar is overrated. You know, when I first watched Interstellar, I kind of rolled my eyes at the whole, like, oh, love is the answer. Love transcends time and space. But the more I rewatch it, I'm just growing to respect it. Um, maybe not that line, but the rest of the movie, I, I was kind of like, maybe it, it was back then because I didn't really think paying attention to movies was necessary um and i just i thought like all the action and stuff was what was actually cool about movies but you know obviously that's not true um but if you told like eight-year-old sarthi that then well he would just like try to throw t rotten tomatoes at your face rotten tomatoes <laughs> Uh, yeah, Interstellar's overrated, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I, un I agreed, like, back then, uh, son, um, that it was a technical marvel, but pretty weak story-wise, um, because I didn't pay attention to the story, I 100% think you paid attention to the story, boy, it's getting dark in here, to the story, um, but, yeah, I just, I just think, um, in, in, uh, it's, after I rewatched it, like, complete eye-opener, uh, and I think the final one on here, um, is Batman Begins is one of his worst films. It revamped Batman, but I just can't see why people uh, love it so much. Um, trying to understand that. So, uh, no, no offense, by the way. Um, and I know a lot of people say, oh, no offense means offense. I actually mean no, uh, no offense. Um, I, I get like, okay, yeah, I'll just say this. I completely disagree, but, uh, Batman Begins, I, it's more lighthearted and you know it's it's more sh it's shorter so i i i think people could say it's a forgettable movie but definitely not for me i just think it's i think it's like great it's a great origin story but i i kind of it's it's one of his worst movies uh 
but um hmm. I'm just gonna say this. Uh I I disagree, but I respect your opinion. Um I respect all these opinions. I agree with a lot of them. I disagree with a lot of them, but I haven't seen like three of them, I think. So uh yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I will have a, a video I think, yeah, I, I might have, like, um, a, a video tomorrow about everything I watched in July. Not just the J- July new releases, but everything I watched in July. I don't know if I'm going to rank those movies uh, because, you know, it's kind of random. But I, maybe I will. I don't know. Um, but I think that does it. Right when I ended this whole thing, the sun went out. Uh, but, yeah, I, that, that, that's pretty much um, the end of the end of all things uh i i kind i i understand a lot of these opinions pretty much almost all of them uh so yeah if you have another hot take uh leave it in the live chat where is it i think it's over there or over there i, I think it's right here um yeah leave it in the live chat really appreciate it uh for coming on here um i i don't think i'm gonna i don't think i have to say anything why do people like end the videos for like they're, they're, like, their endings are five minutes. Uh, people have already clicked off, by the way. Um, so I'm talking to myself, basically. If you're still here, really appreciate it. But, um, yeah, the video's ending now. Bye. Hold up. I forgot something. Uh, my Loki Season 2 trailer reaction got, like, the audio went super, like, terrible so you couldn't hear you couldn't hear what i was saying so basically everything i said was like muffled so sorry about that but the trailer was awesome by the way um you've already seen it though um so yeah i guess so this now the video is ending bye